Hello and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matthew McCora. I'll be your host for today's event. I'm excited to have each and every one of you with us today. Now, we're going to be talking about the stock options profits grid, which is a mechanism or tactic to deploy both stock and options trading to maximize profit making opportunities, regardless if we're having red days or green days. And we're going to talk about how that's implemented. I'm going to be fully transparent. That's always my goal. And if at any moment there's any doubt or lack of full understanding on, on your end, then please let me know and I'll go back and ensure that I do my best to try to explain the concept in a different way. I've got many different ways to explain the same concept I've picked up over the last 15 years and working with thousands of different traders from all walks of life. So hopefully I can explain it in a manner in which you'll quickly grasp it. But at this point, I want to ensure that everyone is up and running and let's go through a simple audio and video check. Uh, this allows people to, to wander in as well after we've started. So at this stage, you should just see a slide in front of you that says sound check. And you should see a snapshot of the attendee viewing window, which is your control panel. Top half is audio controls, bottom half is your question section, and that's what we're gonna be using to communicate back and forth. Uh, of course, I'm sharing the webcam, and uh, I'll be handling the audio portion, but I'd love to hear from you as often uh, as needed. So feel free, this is a private question section, and, and that is intentional. I could open it up, but people put in all sorts of private information, and I don't want your information to be wrongly shared. You know, as far as phone numbers, uh, email addresses, and other account uh, information that sometimes stumbles in this event. And also, I want to keep the room free from any type of uh, internet trolls that exist, unfortunately, out there. I can handle it. I've been doing it a long time, uh, but I don't need to put you through any type of crazy uh, negative action that, that that can exist in an event like this, since it is live, right? So. But with that, if you can hear me, if you can see me, I got a lot of people commenting already. Uh, let me know in that question section. You know, there's two types of attendees in my book. There's those that are actively participating and then those that are, are more passive. And either one is fine, uh, but I find that those are that are actively asking questions and, and confirming the concept um, that I'm giving tend to walk away with a lot more actionable information. Uh, so, Chetlani, good to see you. Appreciate it. You got Joseph with a thumbs up. Must be on your mobile device. You've got the thumbs up ability and emoji ability. Uh, JR, I've got you. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. Uh, we've got a large room today, which is good to see. No matter what the uh, mainstream media likes to say about us retail traders, you know, I don't know how, how or why they would say it, but they call us typically dumb money. But hey, to each their own, I guess. But over the last several weeks and actually several months, I've seen a, a large surge of people like yourselves showing up to, to my events, learning the markets, trying to get ahead of the, the next move that we expect. And I'm glad to see a, another large group today with us. So I'll introduce myself here in a moment, but it looks like based on the feedback, it looks like we're all good to go. Now I will say, I will be looking at four monitors. So if you see me look up, look to the right, look lower right, I'm paying attention to you. I've got uh, the classic uh, trader setup. I only have four monitors. I don't have six, uh, so I do have the four. Love it. I've got to come, call me anything but late to dinner. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we've got a hello from Cape Town, South Africa. You are up late with us. So cheers to you. I'm going to have a little afternoon coffee for you. And then we've got Jason from Westchester County, New York. Perfect. All right. So with that, for those that have yet to meet me, my name is Matthew McCoro. I've been in this industry as a trader, as a coach, as an executive uh, for 15 years now, coming up to my actual 15th anniversary, which is in a couple months from now. Now, my background is in trading with the focus of momentum. Okay. So it's a momentum trend trading strategy you're going to see today. Now, how we deploy that strategy is flexible to be used across any type of stock symbol, ETF symbol. If you trade futures, my strategy applies there. 
Um, if you if you trade the Forex market, traded currencies, and if you trade the crypto market, the strategy I'm going to be sharing with you today is applicable across the board. If you can chart it, if you can measure volume, if you can measure trend direction, then you can trade using the strategy I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now, the benefit of this strategy being market agnostic or stock symbol agnostic is that you don't have to learn something, a new technique per trade, right? So if the market's bearish, you don't have to learn a specific way to trade the bearish moves. If it's bullish, you don't have to learn a specific method, right? That's what I thoroughly enjoy about teaching this strategy is that it can really help build a base. And then from that base, uh, we're going to deploy different strategies of trading option calls, trading option puts. Uh, when the opportunity is right, we'll trade covered calls. Uh, but the core concept of focusing on the stock itself. So the underlying stock is where I put the most importance. And then I drill down, as you're going to see today, into what type of strategy we deploy. If it's just buying the stock outright, if it's leveraging options along with the stock, right? There's there's some flexibility to maximizing profit making opportunities, regardless if the market's red or green. And that's what to me is most empowering is we're not relying upon green only or red only. We're able to take advantage of both directions inside of a given trade. So the one thing I wanted I want to encourage you to do today is to ask questions because I'm going to be transparent with you. See, my goal here today is to ensure that you have a roadmap, you have something to rely on, to always know what's happening, right? To always know what to expect next. To me, that's how we can really manage the emotions of trading. See, I like to focus in a near window of the horizon, right? Meaning, What's gonna, what do I expect the next week? What do I expect the next several weeks? Sometimes what do we expect tomorrow? So that way, when we open up our charts for the day, we have an exact expectation. So that way we don't have to worry about the emotions of the, uh, of the fear and panic or the greed and happiness take over our decision-making. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. <laughs> we got some great comments. We got Mark from Midland. So if that's Midland, Texas, I know that area well. I went to a high school in Abilene, Texas, and went to college in San Marcos down at Southwest Texas State. So good to see the energy sector of the world here today, especially in the US, Midland, Texas. All right, perfect. So just wanna let you know who I am, and then I must always run through this disclaimer. You've seen this before if you've been into any online financial uh, webinar or even a live event. We have to disclose that you can lose money in the financial markets. So I'm a believer in that, it is a fact. People lose money in the markets and you can also win money. So for me, I always just keep in mind, only use risk capital. That means money that if you do lose, you can still put food on the table, you can put and keep the roof over your heads, right? I mean, that's essentially what you know we've got to disclose. So I think we're all adults, but you know, I still have to have to run through that housekeeping item with you all, all right? But with that, this is what we're gonna focus on today. Simple and repeatable steps to trading. Now, if you're not in full screen, so this is for the go-to webinar viewing window. If you're, as long as you're not in the full screen option, let's say you're on a computer and you clicked on that box that makes it full screen, if you go and click out of that, you'll see on the top of your viewing window, uh, you'll see a camera icon like a camera. Well, if you click that, whatever I have on my screen, you'll be able to take a screenshot of. And so I tell you that because I want you to take whatever you want from this event today. So if I'm showing a chart or if I'm showing a specific strategy, feel free to click away and save those screenshots so you can see and, and refer back to the content. Because I'm gonna be sharing with you all today several of my personal trading checklists that help provide this simple and repeatable step, okay, the process itself. So feel free at any time, once again, to take as many screenshots as you like. The goal of this for me is to empower you. Now, to understand why I wanna empower you is because I spent over 12 years as an executive in the financial education and training technology space. At the time, one of the largest educational companies out there. So 
as a chief revenue officer, my responsibility was in driving revenue. Well, how did I do that? Well, I had a great team of people that would create product that would then support our traders to accomplish their goals. Uh, but over time, I found that we simply just created product just for the sake of driving revenue. And after doing it for so long, I retired from that back in 2018. And after a short six month hiatus, I said, look, I love the markets too much. I've been heavily involved my for the large majority of my life in, as far as career is concerned. And so I decided to do it a different way. And so what I tend to do is I like to share behind the scenes everything about my strategy. There's nothing gonna be hidden behind passwords or behind um, any fancy names with all the indicators hidden behind it. I'm gonna show you exactly to the indicator how and what I use. Because for me, my goal is to work with as many people as possible and not have these huge, huge, massive paywalls in between you accomplishing your goals of finding success in the markets. And so I tend to over teach a lot. And so with that, I said, look, I'm just gonna go with that. And because for me, I think the financial security and the empowerment that comes with being able to forecast what's gonna happen next, to me is truly life-changing. And so the tools make money. I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, obviously, if you're in the financial markets, if you're in an event like this, you're either in the market now, looking for ways to improve your, your track record, or maybe you're on the sidelines waiting for that go moment, right? To get in and start to take advantage of some of these low prices, right? And then some of you are just brand new and you don't know what to do yet. That's usually the smallest percentage in the room, okay? So you're gonna see tools how to make money. That's obviously the end goal in mind. But to get to that point, I'm gonna share with you some very simple ways to determine what direction the market's in. When I say markets, I'm talking about individual stocks, I'm talking about the greater overall market, like the S&P 500, could be the NASDAQ. Whatever symbol you have on your charts, you're gonna be able to quickly determine, is it an uptrend, is it a downtrend? Is it an extension, is it retracing? Are we at a triangle pattern, is it moving sideways or not? You're gonna know very quickly in a matter of moments when I walk you through the strategy. Okay, that's empowerment. Then I'm gonna share with you the power of momentum. The timing sequence of finding the trend, finding momentum, is truly the simplest yet most powerful way to catch the next upcoming breakout, be it bullish or be it bearish. And so that's what my goal is today is to share those exact steps with you. Now, if you like the strategy, if it makes sense, and you wanna continue this learning process, then I'm gonna share with you how you can join what I call the Rapid Profits Method Group. It's a group of traders, many just like yourselves, who have come to an event like this, you've enjoyed what you've learned, and you wanna learn more. And at the same time, you also want my personal picks. Okay, so that's ultimately, the end goal is to allow you to first be taught, and then if you like the concept, and you wanna be able to have this type of learning every single day throughout your trading, then that's fine, then we can talk about that, okay? So rest at ease, I'm now gonna go into the charts. So that's where I spend most of my time. An event like this is actually teaching. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, it looks like we've got several more people here, so that's fantastic. Okay, good, so let's jump over now into the charting software that, I, that we're gonna be using today. Now, I use TradingView as my chart of preference. I've used a ton of different software homegrown software that my former company uh, created and developed internally. I've used bar charts, stock charts. Uh, Thinkorswim is who I use as my broker. So trading um, uh, TD Ameritrade is my broker of choice. I don't really use their charts that much. I've found that this software is uh, tremendous for me and I teach on it, I trade on it. This is what we use in all of our classes. All of my pre-built uh, checklists are used here watch list that we use in, in class to focus on our trading is all here too. So if you don't have charts and you wanna try this out, then go to this link. I am an affiliate of TradingView because I've used them for so long. Just go to mattscharts.com and it'll take you to a page where you can get a trial, okay? So you don't have to have a paid version either because what I found out too is that in my experience as a chief revenue officer, there's so much technology out there 
some technology for a couple dollars, some technology for $3,000 a month. And so for me, I want to unhook the chains of reliance of having a big monthly bill for, for trading software, right? You know, trading is a business. I think of it as a business. And so the more we can lower that cost, the better off, in my opinion, we can be. We don't have to worry about all this overhead as a business, right? We can focus on producing income, producing revenue. Of course, that's, you know, trading profits at the end, end of the day. So if you go to the trial, you don't have to have a paid version to run 90% of what I'm going to share with you today. So that's a, a nice bonus to not have a big sticker price on technology. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to talk about a the first real obstacle that traders face is understanding which way the market's going. Now, I have analysis here already because I teach this all throughout the week. And this is the S&P 500, which is the SPY. Okay, that's a symbol. Now, I want you to think about this concept of a top-down approach to trading. You know, so when we get to trading, meaning we're in front of our computers, you're looking for opportunities to get into the market or to get out of the market, right? You're looking for that next opportunity to, to get into the market. There's a process of looking at the top and working our way down. And the reason we do that is so we have a clear expectation of what the next several days looks like in the market. Now, I don't scalp the market. I'm not on a one minute chart, five minute chart. Though this strategy does work there. I've got many clients of mine that take what I use here and run it through their specific type of trading that they enjoy. So scalping the market, meaning five minute charts, this setup here that I'm gonna share with you works exactly the same way. Or if you're a position trader and you like to buy and hold for long periods of time, then this strategy also applies on that specific time frame. Because once we know trend direction, understanding the timing sequence of when the money is on your side, right? That to me is what momentum is. So what we do is we use a simple setup, okay? So in the top left here, of the screen. Remember I said I'm not going to hide anything. Okay, it's fully transparent. In the top left here you're going to see four indicators. So these indicators here that I use are there to provide trend. They're using a mathematical formula. These are moving averages. They're simple. They're not exponential though you can use them. They're not weighted though you can use weighted if you choose to. I use simple because to me simple is easily taught and repeatable. So I keep things as simple as possible. The goal for this is that what I see, you'll see. And then what you see, I see. There's lower amounts of subjectivity when me and my clients can see the same thing through the same lens, right? And that helps on my side to teach it versus trying to teach the art of manually drawing trend lines. I spent over 10 years becoming a master chartist as my job is my function and a primary function of mine to be attuned and highly skilled of charting because the the place I worked was heavily involved in the Forex market, trading currencies. And so currency trading is heavily a chartist uh, realm, meaning you've, you've got to understand how to read charts to, to trade the Forex market. It's less about earnings. It's less about um, microeconomic fundamentals. It's more about macros. And so I had to learn the charts. And so my, many of the educational courses that my company put together was heavily based on technical analysis. And one of the issues that we found was that drawing and teaching people how to draw trend lines was very difficult because it's subjective. I mean, in fact, I have very close friends, some I consider family, that are still in the space, that are great teachers and instructors, and we could all be in a room together, and we could all have a different opinion of trend. And to me, that's some of the most difficult aspects of teaching is art right art is very difficult and to me that's what drawing is so instead of doing that i found a long time ago that if we can combine some simple technical indicators that are mathematically generated it can provide consistency to how we read the market and so i always start on the spy because it's one of the most often traded in fact the highest volume traded symbol out there now the setup here, I'll put it up on the screen so you could take you know, the, one of those screenshots I talked about. So if you wanna see, this is my charting templates here. So on the left is a trader setup. 
and I'll explain these different definitions here in a second. So a trader setup using a 10 day moving average with a 20 and a 50, this is a swing traders pattern. This is used for those looking for hold times, meaning I'm in a trade for days and weeks. Okay, so we're not holding these for months and years, we're talking about days and weeks in a position. The investor setup is more of the long-term trader. Now we use this as well. If we're deploying a strategy, for example, if we see a stock that's on a bottom and we've got a pattern that confirms that we're at a bottom, well, we're gonna then look to a long-term perspective to buy the stock. And as that stock goes up, we're gonna deploy certain strategies against that stock that we own. Deploying options, hedging, using puts, right? As the market pulls back. There's also opportunities on a long-term trade where we'll run covered calls to earn profits with the existing assets that we own. It's very similar to buying a rental property, right? So I'm in Florida, been in Florida since 2002. A lot of vacation homes are bought here, especially by the beach, of course. And so when you buy a rental property, right, you have the mortgage, you have all the utilities, right? All those costs that go into owning that rental property, right? Well, how do you overcome that? Well, you have renters in. Well, you can do the same thing in a stock market with stocks that you own, and that's called using covered calls. I don't use naked calls, that's highly risky. It's just something I don't do, it's hard to teach to, and it leaves the, in, the trader open to lots of risk. And I don't like to tra trade that way. But this is a model that we use for long-term trend direction and trading hold times that open the door for flexibility. Okay, so we do use this um, frequently as well. And then the master setup here is where we combine the short-term and long-term together to get as many variables as possible. Now, when we're using these, these are all generated off averages, simple moving averages. So that means if I'm looking at a 10-day, that means I'm taking the last 10 days of the close price, adding it up, dividing it by 10, and getting a price to it. Okay, so that gives us an actual trend line. It's our short term or inner trend line the 20 day on the left hand side here right gives us a 20 day same formula but instead of just 10 we're looking at 20. 50 is our longest term trend line that means we're looking at 50 trading days and the average price along that time frame now the volume i'll get into in a moment but that's some of the biggest powerful analytic tools here to see when momentum is on our side okay and i'm going to show you some data around momentum now, I'm gonna start first by having this 50 day. This 50 day is our long-term trend. And the simplest way to leverage this tool is looking at where the market is or the candlesticks or the close price is in relation to that 50 day moving average. Now this 50 day moving average, if you watch any financial news sites or, or talking shows out there, right? You'll hear them reference the 50 day, you'll hear them reference the 100 day. And then of course they'll reference the 200 day, which is referred to as the beast because of how powerful it is and how long-term it is. So if you think about this trend line here, that is a rolling 50-day average of price. And so we're using that as a trend line. Now, if I zoom in here, this is our current day today, right? So it's our day today, and you can see how we closed back below this 50-day moving average. So at this point, you're gonna think that, and tell yourself that we've now reverse and went down again okay so above that trend as you see on july 19th here you see how we broke above that 50 day that means we broke the trend line and then from there you can see us rally up and then of course we pull back if i scroll out and put more data here you can see how the market reacts and bounces up and comes back to this 50 day moving average so this is the simplest way to start off is understanding where are we at in relation to the 50 day average price. So are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? As we get into these other indicators here, we're now deploying multiple trend lines to get confirmation of direction. So think about the probabilities. So the more data we have in alignment gives us more confidence of a direction. So if I go back in time here, and I'm gonna use this back in time machine where I can scroll back in time and remove the future price. So this was a big day for the market because 
from April 20th, 2022, we ran all the way down and ran below this. They said we had a very long-term downtrend up until the 19th of July. So you're talking almost three months in a downtrend. And so this is the lowest low we have right now. So this low here in June is what you hear everyone talking about as the potential bottom. And no one knows the bottom until the bottom is actually the bottom. <laughs> uh, so at this stage, this is the target that is the current base of support or the lowest low that we have. Now, once we cross above here, you see how the 10 day and the 20 day are still below that 50 day, okay? So the reaction that happens first is always the, the bar itself, the candlestick, right? So that gives us the most recent movement. Now, what happens is that once we start breaking a trend, right, switching directions, you see how the market's running. And I want you to just pay attention to these 10 and 20 moving averages below. You see, we're, we're moving up and we start to go sideways here. Then we come back down to that 50-day moving average, right? What this is doing is the market is battling and determining support and resistance. It's a battle of who's gonna win here. So as soon as we break through, this is resistance. So all up and down this line here, trend lines are support and resistance, they're just angled, okay? This is all resistance here. So it's a big deal when we start to flip resistance into support. So once we broke this level of resistance, what we want to look for is we want to ensure that the test that comes solidifies the support level. And so what you're going to see is that, in fact, that support holds. But look what else happens. This 10-day is now crossing up above the 50-day moving average, right? So now at this point, we've got two confirmations that we are in an uptrend. We have the price above the 50-day, and now we have the 10-day now crossing above the 50. So our short-term trend has now crossed above the longer 50-day trend, okay? So that's how we're leveraging this analytic tool. Now, it's not until we get to here that you see that cross of now the 20 day so now we have three so we've got the price above the 50 we've got the 10 above the 20 we've got the 10 of the 20 above the 50 now that is a solidifying of support and from that point you can see us start to rally and build that momentum to the north but ultimately we then start to test and come down and test these now support levels right so in a downtrend these trend lines act as resistance and an uptrend they act as support and so we utilize these to know where to expect the pullback to occur and there becomes the turn so now we've started to flip directions back down once we broke down below the 50-day again and just as we did here where the resistance turned into support look now has this support turns into resistance again here. And so this method here that we're walking through is deployable and usable no matter what symbol we're looking at. And the goal of this is to know where we're at in a particular trend. Now, based on what I just showed you, I'm gonna go through and I want you all right now to type in any symbol. Give me one symbol a person, type them in right now. And I'm gonna pull them up. And knowing what you know, I'm gonna ask you a simple question. Are we in an uptrend or are we in a downtrend? Because that's the first step is understanding, are we uptrends or downtrends? So at this point, everyone go to the question section, type in your favorite symbol, and I'm gonna pull them up and we're gonna go through them. It'll be your choice. And in fact, I'll create a special little list for us for today. And we'll reference this list, your choice, I'll call this your attendee list. And we'll build it and then we'll reference this. So that way, you know, I'm not just cherry picking anything. I mean, you can pull this on my any chart anytime and run the same process that I'm running here. All right, so we got TLT, SNY, XBI, I like that ETF. We got Ford, 
one of my favorite stocks. DraftKings, I like it. We got Zim, MDRX, MDRX, Apple, Asana. We got Bud, I like you. I like your style. Well, uh, Jason, <laughs> Budweiser, DYL, GM. Can't talk about Ford unless you talk about GM, I guess, right? We got NIO, we got NIO here, also in the automotive industry. All right, perfect. All right, so we've got our list here. This is all from you. So I just want you to focus on the 50 day here. Okay, we got a couple more stragglers. Let's, I won't leave you out. A G E N. All right. So I'm just going to leave the 50 day up and I want you to tell, tell me, is this up or down? That's all you have to do, up or down. What's Marvell? Yep, you got down. Remember, look to where I saw someone say up. Where is the price? So remember, this is the close price. So 4802 today. The 50 day average is up here at 50. We're below the 50 day average. Okay. That's down. TLT. Right? Downtrend. Look to where we are in relation to the 50 day. SNY, Sanofi. See the downtrend, XBI. Don't get sucked in to being at it. Be as objective as possible here. We closed below the 50 day. So close price below the 50 day. Ford, still an uptrend, right? We're not below this, we are above for Ford. Nvidia, downtrend. DraftKings. Uptrend. Shipping for Zim. Downtrend. Okay. So uptrend. Uptrend. Now all I'm describing is where are we at versus the 50 day moving average. This is retracing in an uptrend. I'll talk about that here in a moment. Apple just flipped back below the 50 day. Downtrending here. Asana above the 50 day budweiser below the 50 day gm just like ford still in an uptrend nio uptrend just broke across the 50 day see this cross okay uptrend we got one more here agen just flipped below the 50 day okay so this is important so we have a an objective way to determine are we buy side sell side now if you're trading options are you you should be buying puts when we go this way right if i own the stock already okay we can decide to either write cover calls if they're available not every stock is optionable of course right but if the options there that opens the door for abilities for us to make money even when the market's red okay so if you don't own the stock, right? So essentially what a covered call means is that I'm selling a call at a future date. Covered means I already own the asset. I already own the stocks. So using assets that you control is what I mentioned earlier about buying a rental property, right? You buy a rental property and you rent it out. So you make money on that asset that happens to be a home or a condo, whatever it may be, right? You're, if you buy a car, and you rent it, right? That's a big business. One of my good friends has several Teslas that he rents out on Turo because he buys the car, gets a big write-off on taxes, and then he rents it out throughout the month. He's got like four or five uh, high-end cars that he does that with. And that's taking an asset that is usually depreciating, right? And actually using it to generate income, right? You can do the same thing in the stock market. Now, I don't like to do it off stocks that are core stocks in my portfolio. You know things that I want to own for two, three, four, five years, even 10 years and beyond. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to run the risk of those being exercised, meaning called away from me, right? But there are strategies out there that we deploy where we can actually use um, that method of option trading on owning stocks. So as markets pull back, we can hedge, we can then earn income off assets we own, right? Those are some of the opportunities once we know what direction we're in, right? So it's vitally important 
to know at any given time what's happening. Are we up or down? Now, when we roll out for these other moving averages and trends, they're giving us even more data. Okay, so to understand the markets, all we have to do is wrap our head around a simple concept. And many of you may know this already, but I'm gonna to try to put this in a, in a different light. So when we look at a pattern, markets don't go in a straight line, though sometimes we wish they do. Most people wish that the price just goes up all the time. Now I'm gonna turn on my webcam for a second so I can focus here on these charts as I teach this. And I'll come back to my camera in a moment when appropriate. All right, so at this point, what we're talking about is a price swing that occurs. So once we can wrap our head around direction, okay, and I just had the 50-day moving average up there. Now, the reason for that is because I want a longer-term perspective. So if you think about 50 days, right, I'm on a daily chart. The majority of my trading is done right now. So we're in the evening, you know, market's closed already. This is where I do the, I'd say 90% of my trading is done between now and five o'clock. You know, sometimes if, depending upon my day, my schedule could be later, could be earlier, but regardless, I don't trade during open market hours. So at the end of the day, the concept is catching catching breakouts that's the essence of the program that i'm sharing with you is how to catch the next breakout that occurs so there's two methods and two thought process to catching breakouts but first off we have to wrap our head around breaking down a wave you have an extension so that's a phase right we're in an extension phase then you have a retracement phase. So in any given move, the extension phase is where we're taking out highs. Okay, so this is an uptrend. So extending means that we're moving up and extending price, okay, in, a, in the direction of the trend. So extensions are in the direction of the trend. Retracements are moving counter trend, meaning if this is an uptrend, right? The retracement is the pullback or the down move. Now this is an uptrend here, as long as this low is intact, meaning it's not taken out, okay? So that must be taken out for this to reverse down, right? In, in our 50-day moving com moving average conversation, that means the 50-day moving average has been crossed, okay? But until that happens, we're in an uptrend. So there was charts like I showed with Ford. This is an extension. We're making higher highs, right? This is a retracement. We're pulling back. It's still an uptrend. But the current phase of this trend is retracing. Type in a yes if that makes sense. Active move up, extension. This is an up move, but this is retracing. Type in a yes if that makes sense. A lot of, a lot of traders get caught up in direction, right? They get, you know, this is where you, 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 just, you have that level of frustration where you buy something and then it goes against you. And not just a little bit. I mean, it goes all the way against you, right? I mean, that's what, what, what that's a... The symptom of is not being on the right side of it or not understanding what phase we're in. So if I want to catch something, right? if I want to catch a move, I want to be at a point of highest likelihood of a break, right? of a big move to follow. So where you'll see those big moves is at the reversal point. So that's what the circle is. The second best opportunity is after the market has retraced. Okay, so initial move, initial reversal point is the highest percentage move to follow. Okay, so it's all about maximizing the move. Meaning, what has the greatest move to follow? Well, the reversal. Or is the second best? Well, after the market pulls back and gets ready for the next move. 
So if we scroll back up to my diagram I drew, same concept. It's at this reversal point on the bottom is where I want to be, or I want to be at this point right before this next move. This is the catch concept. I use this a lot. You want to catch the breakout. You don't want to chase the breakout. So if I'm in an active extension, then, and I missed it, then I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for this pullback to end. And then based upon the next step I'm going to share with you, we're going to wait for confirmation that this is the retracement, right? Because as the price comes down, the question we're then going to be answering is where is the support that's going to give the bounce up again, right? Where is that support level going to be? And so I'm going to share with you some of those ways to do that. And that's leveraging the moving averages. And in class, I teach how to use retracements. Okay, so I use a distinct retracement tactic to measure and forecast the future levels of support to be found. Okay, so ultimately the first goal is always understanding the phase. Okay, once we can understand uptrends, downtrends, now let's understand are we extending or retracing? Now I'm going to show you some real examples here of recent examples so you can understand how it's applied in the actual market on actual positions here over the last several weeks. And if you can understand this, it's going to be wildly important. Now you can take what I'm sharing with you. This is real stuff. I've used this for decades on how to deploy breakout trading. So this is not, none of this is new by any means. It's in this condition that we've had for the last nine months, nine and a half months in this big bear market. And it also works in strong bullish markets that tend to last a lot longer than these bearish pullbacks, right? So it, this method is repeatable and it's straightforward. So this point here is where if I scroll down back to Apple, remember these trend lines act as support and resistance. So look what happened as we broke above. You see how this 20 day turned into resistance on the way down. Right, became a sandwich effect almost, right? Those are signs to show us that the move is gonna continue moving back down again. So if we saw this yesterday, we were actually in a class last night, so we talked about this. <laughs> we talked about this specific chart last night because the question was, is what's the dominant trend direction here? So, the conversation was about based on this recent down move for apple off this high crossing back down below this is the reversal point that's set up now this up move here because the trend lines are not above that 50 you see how the tens here this is still a downtrend right because of this move here that occurred breaking the 50 day so we had this last night already forecasted to expect a down move today. The reason why is because this level of resistance showed up here and that's a 50% retracement. Now, I don't have all the time in the world today. I usually try to keep this to an hour and a half. I never do, it's usually about two hours. So, but effectively I use a different formula for retracements. So these are adaptations of Fibonacci number sequences this is how we use it we use a 30 50 70 model okay but ultimately this is the sign and the signal for us last night to say apple's going to pull back today because of this resistance bounce and then today happened this low was our target today So once we understand that concept, then we know that Apple is going to be pulling down today. Okay, so leveraging these concepts help us to understand which side of the trade is most likely to move that chart. So that way we can be set up in advance to try to catch these moves. Okay, now the next step here is timing. Now timing 
is broken up to me into how long you want to be in a trade. So for example, if I'm talking about timing of buying a stock and holding it for months and months and maybe even a, and years and years, right? So long-term trading, I'm not really worried about timing too much on a small scale. Like for example, here, we're getting back to prices that we may not see again for a long time, right? You think about Apple, Apple's a core stock. It's one of the most highly owned stocks in portfolios today with you know, the market cap of $2.47 trillion, right? This is obviously one of the biggest um, invested uh, companies out there. Huge cash flow, of course, we all know that. But ultimately, huge, huge company out there. And so, but what's interesting about volume and what it gives us, the next concept here, this is putting it all together at this point. So once we understand the direction here, now I'm gonna teach you different ways how to use the 10 day, 20 day, what it means when they cross. But from the straightforward concept I wanna start with today is vertically up and down, okay? So for example, today, look at the activity for Apple. Now below is a volume indicator. If you're following along with me on TradingView, to get the moving average, you click on the indicator, just it's the simple volume, okay? Type in volume and indicators, you'll pull it up. How many of you have TradingView? Type in, a, type in ME me if you're a TradingView user already. I know a lot of people use it, I'm just curious. So if that's you, then you just gotta turn on the volume moving average. Go to style, check the box, set it on a line chart, Volume, I use columns, okay? And then I've got a 20 day moving average. Now I use 20 because I'm using the mean here. I have a 10, 20, 50 moving average. So I wanna get the mean, which is the middle moving average, which is the 20, okay? So I have alignment between my average volume and my average volume price, okay? So at this point, look vertically down below and you'll see this data box here. All these data boxes change based on where my cursor is. So if we look to today, the left number in that indicator says volume 20, then to the right of it, it says 121.857. That's a million. That's the number of shares traded today. To the right of that number in red, it says 75.357. Well, that's the 20 day rolling average of the number of shares traded. Volume to me is the most impactful and powerful data point on any chart. If I didn't have any moving averages on this chart, I could still give you a very strong forecast of what's gonna happen next based upon what that volume is doing below. Anytime you see a surge above average, you're gonna get larger price moves. Now, I went ahead and put together some data so you can see it. So what you're seeing in front of you is the last 12 months worth of daily trading activity for Apple. So you've got, for today, I did this about 20 minutes before the market closed, okay? So this may be off a little bit, but Every other day is exactly what happened. So today at the time I ran it, we had an open of 159.90, a high of 160.54, low price of 153, and we had volume today at 88 million. Okay, so that's the column. Now what I did then is I parsed out the data and I broke it out into how many days were over that average. Now this is over a 12 month average. It's not a 20 day average, this is 12 months. And then I ran the same formula for under volume, uh, under this average. So for the last 52 weeks, the average daily volume for Apple has been 88 million shares a day. Okay, remember that's not cash. That is the individual number of shares bought and sold per day. So you, you can see today at 88.7 was obviously over. 
right? So there's a one in the over column. Then I ran the high low spread. Okay, so from the highest price to the lowest price of the day. So today at the time it was six dollars and sixty two cents. I'm not worried about bullish or bearish. I'm I'm looking at how much price movement between the high and low occurred on that day. So then I took that spread and divided that by the open price of that day. So today, at the time I ran this, like I said, about 20 minutes before market closed, the high-low spread was 4%. That's the high-low price move of the day. And I did that up and down the entire year, up and down. You can see all the data points here. The average price movement on days that were over volume was 3.08%. On days under volume, it was 1.99%. So the difference of over volume price swing is 54% higher when there is a surge of volume behind it. That's why I said that volume is, to me, the most powerful indicator of expecting the next big price move. That is the driver of price action, is the essence of how the financial markets work, right? Buyers and sellers. This is a pure mathematical formula that proves that volume moves the market greater than low volume days. Now, I did this on the S and P500, so this is the SPY, SPY symbol. Same data, same process. Over volume had an average price move of 2.18% when we are above the 91 million share average. Under volume was 1.21%. So that's an 80% differential between over and under days. So where do you think, what side of the day do you want to be trading on? Do you want to trade in high volume or low volume conditions, right? High volume, right? Here's another one. This is a small stock symbol. This is Rocket Lab. So this is a $5 stock price. A lot more average price moves, but even on high volume, 8.16% is the average price move. Low volume is, is just underneath 6%. There's still a 37% price difference. Now. It doesn't matter what stock symbol, okay? I'll pull one of these, let's do Ford, okay? So I'll, I'll pull up Ford right now. And if you're curious how I did it, I would just go to Yahoo, type in the symbol, and then I can go down to historical data and I can download all this data here, right from their website. And I'm just gonna dump it into what my sheet here, okay? Now, this is how important I feel this is that most retail traders don't use this enough and just understanding how price moves can be dramatic, can have a dramatic effect to getting on the right side of the market. Timing this sequence is all about understanding the impact to volume. So here's Ford, I just dumped it in here. 4.85% is the average high volume price swing from high to low. When we're under volume, it's three and a quarter. So that's a 50% difference of price action in high volume trading conditions. So combining momentum with pattern is the quintessential formula for the rapid profit method. It's getting in at the best moment when we have the momentum in the form of volume and having the right pattern that creates a breakout move. Any questions on the volume, please let me know. Let me know what questions you have on it, on the data I shared. So when we see a high volume, I want you to think of conviction. So I want you to translate the objective data into action. High volume 
is high conviction, high belief in the move, in the price move. Yep, volume indicator is a free one. Yeah, all the charting tools here are free. You can use the free version of TradingView that I sent to you and run three indicators, the, these three moving averages and the volume without paying a dime. If you want watch lists, <laughs> then you've got to have at least the $14.95 version, the small version, the pro version. But I've ran this strategy, I've sent signals, I've, I mean, I've been using this software for that'd be seven, eight years now, maybe nine years. And the only reason I have the paid version, the only reason is because we use all of these different watch lists here uh, to find opportunities to trade with. So that's the only reason I have the paid version is to have access to unlimited watch lists. Yep. Yeah, so Paul, no worries if you're late. If you go to matchcharts.com, I'll send you the link. You can sign up for a free trial a free trial and you after the trial you don't have to pay for anything you can there's actually a free version of trading view an unpaid version and you can run this entire strategy on it my goal is to share with you my industry uh, industry secrets that i've uh found out uh, through my 10 years as a chief revenue officer so charting software is one of those tools that a lot of people like to sell technology i have no problem with technology I just feel if we don't need it and you can run a strategy without it, then why not? And that's what this is. And that's how I like to teach it. I like to lower as much cost as possible for our business of trading. All right. So think about that again, conviction. So when you see today and you see a big red bar and you look down below and you see a big spike of volume, what does that tell us? Well, it tells me that there's a strong conviction that this price is gonna go lower. Why? Why? Because the bears showed up in mass and pushed this price down. That is decisive. Because I don't care what you listen to, right? I mean, it doesn't matter what somebody thinks. It doesn't matter what somebody says. It doesn't matter what someone, you know, someone's commentary is. It's what are they actually doing? And it, if, I want to be as objective as possible. I have to use objective data. And to me, transactions is the ultimate data point to know if someone's convicted or not convicted, meaning they're convinced or not convinced. They're optimistic, they're pessimistic. Now, I'm not talking about one person because not one person is driving the market. So interpret this as the investors of Apple sold heavily today. So if I get a spike of selling activity, what do you think is more likely to happen? You think this is gonna go up or down? If there is a large price move and a lot of transactions that are selling something, are they positive or, op or pessimistic about the price? Do you think the price is going up? Do they think it's going down, right? They think it's going down. where this happens okay at the point of time this happens you see how we broke back down below again okay so we cross back below here right so think about this close price is the most important price so this actually started on the 2nd of september so we close below the 50 day now the bulls said i don't know if we're going to keep going down so they cross back above ran into resistance and then bang today we slammed back down below it so this is the secondary move after this initial move here that's the initial move initial moves always followed by a test this is the test resistance held boom there's that downward move today and it wasn't a small move it was a big move as i showed you the average move on Apple with higher volume is 50% higher price action, right? More of a price swing. That is a perfect sign of what it happens. This is an opportunity to catch a move down for Apple. This is one of those initial crossing points. So I'll talk about that in a second. I don't, that may be the only one that's at an opportune time from the ones you put up there. 
I'm going to take a quick move here. XBI could be there. Ford's not there. NVIDIA is actively moving already. There's Apple. Asana's pulling back. That may be one. Agent. Okay, let's go back to Apple. All right. So I'm going to actually show you a, a setup here and a trading opportunity with Apple. Now, remember what I talked about, the best opportunity to get into a trade. Best opportunity to get into a trade is where we have the most opportunity for a move, a larger move to follow it. Okay, so when I showed you data, you know, this data on the spreadsheet showing this move, that's a, that's a single day. Okay, so that's a high volume day. You can see this this period you see all these ones here remember this is the over column so we had at this point 12 days in a row of high volume high volume price moves the price move ran up almost 50 percent if you add up these price swings that's a 54 percent price swing high low in this time we had all this volume behind it right that's a lot of opportunity in a short amount of time okay so what we use this for, this method of finding these breakouts, is we use it to get ahead of the following cascade, right? So what happens is you see a, a move, and then you'll start to see people build momentum, and you start to see the trend break and continue going in a direction. So if we reverse this and come back to the up move, same look and feel, okay? Here's the initial. What we're waiting for now is the volume to confirm. So let's talk about now, how do we get into trades? What we're looking for in trades is we're looking for the volume to show up. That's the step that confirms that the pattern should continue in the direction that we want it to. So if we keep moving here, I want us to look for a specific moment. Okay, so let's come here to July. So down below, you see we had a spike of volume, right? So 82, almost 83 million shares were traded on Apple. The average at that time was 74 million. Remember, that's a 20-day average, okay? This is the go moment based on my strategy. So we've got momentum behind us. We had volume show up. Look where the bar is. The bar is above the 10-day. It's above the 50-day, and the 20-day is right behind it, right? So we have trends underneath us, supporting us. So the method of how we catch is a method deploying pre-entry orders, okay? So what we do is we take the high price. So this is that moment. Remember, I trade at the end of the day. So the market's closed and I pull up a chart and I see an opportunity to get into the trade. I'm looking for the closest entry point to the initial cross. Now, I don't have to look through all 7,200 common stocks. I use a filtering process using the stock screener that's built inside of TradingView. So I have specific settings. So I don't have to look across 7,000 stocks. Okay, I don't go through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of charts to find the one or two trades to take. Okay, so I use very specific filters in the screener to serve me up, to bring me up, stocks in a particular pattern it's the momentum breakout trading pattern so i don't search across the marketplace okay so the way we set up a trade is using a catch method so the catch method is a way to use pending orders to enter the trade okay so we have a breakout I'm going to take the high price of the day. So 151.23. That's the high. I'm going to go one tick above the high. The reason for that is because the final step to a breakout, this is a bullish pattern, is I want to see the price break that previous high. So that's the catch because this could pull back the next day. Right, so I only want to catch a confirmed breakout, which is going to be breaking the previous high. So this is the catch. So I set 
a specific order in my account. I use Thinkorswim and I say, I want to buy Apple only if it's greater or equal to 151.24. So I do this at night, I set it up, and the next day, the trade is waiting. It's waiting to trigger. The trigger point is the 151.24 price that I put in. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but that's from the chart perspective. This is the catch side, okay? Then from there, what we do is we then set up profit targets and we have stop losses. So the reasons is simple to understand. We wanna make sure that we have a clear cut exit plan on profit and then we also wanna mitigate risk, right? I mean, that's what every trader should use and a lot of traders don't use stop losses in specific because they've been burned and they feel like every time they place one, they get stopped out. Well, unfortunately the market is too vast. I don't think anyone's looking at you individually and saying, oh, it's time to get, time to get Matt today. I see a stop loss from Matt, let's go, catch, let's go chase it down. Most of the time it's because it's improperly placed. So first thing we do is I use a simple stop method. I'm just gonna use a simple stop method, finding a previous low and I'm gonna sit one tick below, okay? Now don't worry about memorizing this. I'm gonna share with you the, the actual checklist I use with all these instructions. I'm just showing you what it looks like on the chart. Okay, so I've got a stop loss, I've got an entry. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a profit target. I've gotta know when I'm gonna get out of this trade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the next high, higher than our current high. So that puts us up here at 166.22. Now I use different, a different method as well. It's called the price forecasting model, which is a mathematical formula that measures previous price action and forecasts uh, 10 price levels into the future. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But at this stage, this is a trade setup. I've got a pending entry, I've got my stop loss, I've got my profit target. So at this stage, the next step is to then go to my trading account and setting up this trade. So remember, the market's closed at this point. I'm gonna set this up as a pending entry with conditions. I'm gonna have the exit already set up on the profit taking side, and I'm gonna have a stop loss that's already there. So I use an OCO, one cancels the other order type, with a contingent entry order. I'm gonna show you how it, how it looks and what it, what it feels like in a second. But this is how we determine and use volume below with pattern where the price is against trend. And so at this point, all that has to happen is we have to mark the net has to happen the next day so if we had an entry at 151.24 you could see that we marked above that so we're now into that trade so by understanding how the markets wave you could see the retracement pullback and then ultimately we're going to come up and hit our profit target to the nose this is a simple combination of trends, understanding trends, and then understanding the driver of price move, right? What initiates a price break? And that is volume. The goal is to have a simple and repeatable process. So if I gave you a specific checklist step by step, that showed you exactly how to do what I just did. Type in a yes if you could follow those instructions. All right? I'm gonna show you what, what it looks like, okay? Because to me, having something that you can repeat over and over again is the magic <laughs> behind consistency because you know how to repeat successes and then you also know how to avoid making mistakes, right? And having a step-by-step -step checklist, something like this, okay? This is one of my most used checklist. This is a conservative bullish checklist, meaning it's it's for uptrends. So set your pending entry above your tick high, pro previous highs as profit targets, set your stop loss. Now, if you want to trade options, then I've got a four-step simple process 
to uh, to pick the right option. Okay, so every focus of mine is to find that breakout stock. Then from there we can deploy options if we want to against it. Extremely simple process. Up here in this section, it says trading view filter settings. This is the settings that we use in the stock screener to find these opportunities. So essentially, this strategy starts with searching and finding the right stock. So by inputting these settings into this stock screener below, allows us to search and find these opportunities. You can see it says here, conservative bull breakouts. To the right here, you can see the filters I have. Okay, now today there's only one here, right? You can imagine why, because the market pulled back today, right? Remember, I'm looking for a conservative bullish break. There's only one here. Now, this is a huge gap. This is a Kiro Therapeutics. Look at that massive gap today. There's only one in conservative that shows up today. Let's go to the other one. So the, one of the other often used strategies I use is called the aggressive bullish breakout. And this one is only five. Okay, so these are uptrend breakout opportunities. Only five here. Let's go to our bearish breakouts. So I simply click on conservative bearish breakouts. And now look, I got 157. Now, mind you, there's 7,200 common stocks. Okay, so by using pre-built filters, these are them, they're all on my checklist. I, I let the technology inside of TradingView serve me up a list. So now I've got a list, I'm not looking at 7,000, I'm looking at 157. Now further, I'm able to then drill down and, and find price stocks that I like, like for me, typically I trade $60 or less. You know, sometimes I'll get up with $100 or more stocks, but you know, traditionally I'm $60 or less. Reason why is they have higher average price percentage moves, smaller price stocks. You know, so if I pull up these stocks and we look to the charts themselves, we're gonna see bearish patterns, right? Meaning we're below the 50-day moving average. So now I have a focused area to find trading opportunities. This is the same, this process here that I'm sharing with you is exactly how I find signals to send out to my clients. Now, to give you an idea, this is the results here for the rapid profit method program. So we started this program in August, so less than a month ago. Now, this is a new release and a new program. But I've got signal services that we've been running for years, okay? This is a unique program because I combine both stocks and option trading into this program to leverage the full wheel of opportunity. So we have 122% in profits and open positions right now. And you can see the dates here. We have two closed already at 161%. These other ones are still open, right? So in total, we've got an open PL plus closed trades about 280%, okay, in just about a month or so. Using this method of finding underlying stocks, then deploying options against them. We use out of the money options, in the money options, at the money, depends upon the actual stock itself. Long calls, long puts. When we get the right appropriate market conditions, we'll be running covered calls as well. Okay, and then we also do stock buys. It's just long-term stock buys that we'll use as leveraged assets to leverage our other hedging techniques as the markets ebb and flow over the next several months. So in just under 30 days of closed positions, right, you're 122%. With our open PN or 160%. You know, so 
when you think about the time, it's only been about 30, not even 30 days yet, right? We're trying to find those breakouts that move and can generate profits. And when we understand how to combine the underlying stock and then knowing which option to trade, right? How we're gonna trade it, how we manage it, from there, it becomes a repeatable process over and over and over again. And so the method of using these filter settings is what tremendously increases our ability to focus in on the right area. So I know when there's a lot more of these bearish moves, bearish symbols that qualify to show up, look at our aggressive, okay? So this is an aggressive strategy. There's 183 patterns that just met the aggressive checklist. So there is tons of opportunities in here to be able to focus in on the bearish directional opportunity. So traditionally, this is where we're buying puts and, and, and trading the option down here. When you look to the chart patterns, you're going to see exactly what we what we talked about is a break with volume. Mind you, these are all with volume behind us. That is the initial break. Look, just look at the charts above. Looks like Apple, doesn't it? Apple's probably in this list. There's Apple on this list today. Everybody see this Apple, right? So you don't have to be tracking Apple. Apple just showed up on my list. It's right here. So setting up this Apple trade, I mean, how many of you would have enjoyed to be up? Let's just look at the close positions, you know, 160%. Right. I know a lot of retail traders are not at the success level they want to be at this stage. And I appreciate that. These are some of the most difficult times to be trading. I just got started in the financial markets in 2007. So I started in the most difficult conditions. And so for me, it's brought a lot of nostalgia to be back in this position uh, from when I first started trading. Uh, This is how you can really, truly change the trajectory. I mean, how many of you are seeing, do, can you see now with what I've shared with you so far, just a tool and an ability to see the market differently? Just using these simple moving averages. And then of course, volume, I want you to become a believer of it. I know I showed you data. I highly encourage you to just visually look here as what I've shown at this point is it is it helping see the market differently uh, you're not drawing anything all we're simply doing is seeing where the candles are where they at against these trends now there's a whole lot more to learn i can assure you that but this is the most important thing i'm teaching you don't worry about the next step if you can understand the vertical up and down look and you'll start to see Oh, look at this big move for DraftKings. Oh, wait, look down below. Look at the volume that showed up. You see, this big rally, look what pushed it up, volume. Okay, when you see sell-off, look at this volume. And more importantly, look at when it breaks. Okay, so if you come to a trend, look at this volume back here in September. Yeah, I'll show the scan logic again for you, right? Look at this. That was the point when DraftKings went to, uh-oh, the Reds are here to stay. You see how we cross below the 50? Look at this massive volume comp. So what do you think? What do you think the uh, expectation was? It's going to go down. That's the confirmation. And look how long that rally went down. Yeah, buy puts as Brett, as Daniel says. We have we 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 just closed for the first time above the 50 down here, and it only lasted a few days. This is the first time for DraftKings we've been in an uptrend since September of 2021. But it started here. That's the breakout that created this massive down move. 
their reversal point to get back up started here on this big bullish day on the 15th. See the volume down below? Spike of buying volume. Push that price up. So if you could consistently find those breakout moments and have a repeatable entry strategy, have an ability to pick the profit target, and have the ability to protect your trade with stop loss placements, right? And then know if you want to trade options, how to deploy the option, then that's the repeatable process I'm talking about. That's how in just a month or so, we've got 160% in closed positions. We've got open positions of about 120% open PL. And some of those are very close to profit targets. They're going to exit the trade automatically, okay? In a very short window of time, because we're leveraging direction and momentum together. And that's the process of the momentum strategy. And the rapid profits method, the entire program is there to provide you targeted trading signals, full detailed trading signals to take advantage of the market movement. So I'll give you some examples here of some of these trading opportunities here that I've sent out. Okay, just to show you what it looks like, show you what the details are, and then how they're actually implemented, okay? So if we come down, I'm gonna show you this. This is a stock trade, okay? So this is Rocket Lab that we set up a trade with here recently, okay? So our entry was right here. You can see it's on our stop loss, okay? So here was the entry back here on the 29th of July. This is a stock trade. Now, for this signal, Rocket, this is for Rocket Lab, okay? This just showed up in our scanner, okay? So basically, scanner showed up, I looked at it, and I said, okay, this is the trade I'm gonna send out to, to our subscribers, to our clients. So I took the details, found the trade, put the details into an email and text message, and sent it out to the subscribers, okay? So with that setup, traders are able to follow along and put the trade in, okay? So it's as, as straightforward as that is how it sounds, right? You find the trade, you send it out, you place the trade. This is our entry back here for Rocket Lab on this date, okay? So what it looks like is fully detailed. This is from a program called Cash Attractors. Okay, so this is a weekly trading program. I run various signal services, but the rapid profit method combines strategies across all of my programs into one because it provides flexibility. Now, there's no, there's every signal I send out is unique. There's no overlap. I don't duplicate trades across the board. So with this data point, the question is, as simple as this. So this was the signal that I sent out, and this is an email, and this says all of the details that you need to set up the trade. So when you look at the email, it tells you exactly how to set it up. So this is on the 31st. So the entry was good for the whole week, okay? So entry is good until the end of the week, which is August 5th. So we're gonna be buying Rocket Lab, we're looking for the price to break at $4.69. We have a predefined stop loss, $3.52. We have a profit target of $6.14. We have a second profit target of $7.83. Okay, so if, if you receive this, how many of you type in a yes if you know how to enter this trade? Type in a yes if you knew how to place this trade using this data. And this is all up front. Okay, so there's nothing, you know, you don't rely upon me. Uh, to tell you what to do a week later okay everything is listed out in front of you now the reason there's two profit targets is we use a guaranteed profit method where we take half off at target one and then we'll take the other half at target two okay so we split the trade profit in half so we can guarantee profit so once we have the trade details set up the way this method works is that we then leverage our order types that we use and i'll show you what it looks like in a second so we set this all up up front we set the entry up front we set the stop loss up front and we set the first profit target all up front 
And so the reason for that is it allows us to have an objective hands-off approach to our trading, meaning we touch it once. Now, if we hit our second profit target, we'll touch it again. But until that time, we're only touching that trade one time. And, and for, for me, it really lessens, it lessens the emotional impact of trading. So this is what the actual trade ticket looked like because I track every single trade, of course, and this is what we provide. We also provide to you a screenshot of the signal. Um, good question. I'll send you the login if you don't have the login. I know you're a client of ours. All right, but this is the actual ticket for TradingView or for Thinkorswim, excuse me. Now, if you have Fidelity, don't worry, Van. We've got lots of traders that use um, Fidelity. But this is, this is the order type. So the order, I said, I put 10 shares in. So buy, this is the order. I'm going to buy 10 shares of Rocket Lab at $4.69. I use the stop limit. Okay, so I'll teach you what this means. But basically, stop limit means I'm setting a, 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 a floor. At a minimum, I want this to break out. It's got to be above 469 to trigger the trade. And this is, you can see the date, July 31st, 7.31 at night. Okay, this is sent out at night. Now, the profit target is sell half, right? So if I bought 10, I want to sell half at 6.14. That's the profit target. Now, the stop loss, I want to sell all of it, right? So I want to reduce my exposure and I have a predefined stop loss. It's directly off of the signal. So if this is filled, then these two orders go live, but they pen they're pending until this trade triggers. If it doesn't come up and hit 469, the trade will not trigger, okay? It'll cancel itself. So you can see the next day we came in and hit the entry target, okay? So at that point, the trade is live. As this market runs, because of our determined exits, as soon as we hit our profit target, the trade automatically closes out because I already had an order in there to close it out at that first target. So once we have that, so target hit, so that turned out to be 15% on the trade. So it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days to hit your stock profit of 15%. So once that target is triggered, we then got to set up the second piece of the trade because mind you, I had 10 shares, but we closed out half at profit, right? So now I've only got five shares. So I've locked in and I've actually profited 15% on the first half of my trade, right? That's booked profit. I can trade with it. I can take it out. I can take my wife or husband, family on a, big, on a trip, whatever you want to do with it, right? It's locked. But I've got to protect the other five shares I own. So then I put in the second profit target, which is 783. This was done on August 12th, right? So after my profit target was hit, I came back in and set my second order. I want to protect my five shares. You could trade 100 shares, 200 shares. Everyone's different, right? And then I've got my stop loss. Well, my stop loss is $4.69. So now my stop loss is break even. So I can't lose on this trade anymore. I've got a second profit target at 783 and my break even stop loss is now 469. So I'm active in this trade. This trade is still active, but I've locked in a profit already. So even with this retracement that we have, as long as I'm above my entry order, because now my stop loss is back up to break even, I can't lose because I've already locked in 15%. So if we get stopped out, that's fine. We already made our money. But at this point, we're still holding and it's still an open position. But our stress is gone because we've already profited and we're back to break even on the rest of our trade. So there's no risk of a loss on this trade. That is how we leverage pricing orders, automatic entry orders with support with profit target stop losses, okay? All at the point of entry.
this is a different method of using our brokers and the abilities to use different types of order placements combined with momentum and, and pattern trading. I see your comment, Van, about uh, Fidelity. We have many traders at Fidelity. So all, all we'll do is we'll sit down and go through and show you where and what buttons to click, right? Because once you do it a couple times in practice, it becomes habitual to set up, right? So for those, oh, good one on options. Yep, I'm gonna show you some options here. So same concept as the stock side, okay? Identical concept. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the a recent put we had. So that's this trade. So here on the 21st, we had a put for gold, G-O-L-D is a symbol. And that's a gold related stock, it's called Barrett Gold's the company. So we had an order sent out to our traders to buy the long put. And I'm making 65% on this trade in just a couple of days, okay? So this is buying the long put. So when we look to the pattern, it's a bearish pattern at that time, of course. So if we go to gold. We caught this entry. Let's see if I've got my orders still here. Nope. Okay. So we caught this breakout down here. Okay. So this is the 21st. So we caught it down here. Okay. And it was a bearish move. So we find the breakout, the bearish move, and then we go in and find the best put for that specific trade. Okay. So to do that, we've got rules on the checklist. Very simple process to pick and select the right option. This is what the details were. Okay, so remember this came out on August 21st. I'll show you the signal so you can see the details of it. And that's what's unique here. So a lot of people, when they trade options, they just focus down on option chains. I think we do a better job of first finding the underlying stock. And then from there, we want to be able to drill down to find the appropriate option to go with it. That to me is the better scenario to catch that move. Give me a moment, I'm pulling it up right now for us. This is what it looks like on the chain itself. Okay, so if you look down here, you'll see the description. of the signal. So you can see buy gold. This is the put. So we're buying the long put. Now the difference here is you see it says order condition number one. So we're going to only execute buying this put if GOLD, it's not the precious metal. This is a, a stock symbol, GOLD, only if it marks at or below 1601. There we go. I had the screen pause for a second there. Okay, there we go. So here's the order ticket below. The order is to buy two, this is just two contracts, gold, the 16th expiration, $16 strike price, with a limit of 70 cents on the premium, okay? The only, right, this is a condition, only if gold marks at or below 1601. So we're looking for the break. We want it to break bearish, right? So we're looking for a breakout down. So that's why it's below 1601, right? It's a put, I want the stock price to go down. So then we have our profit target and stop losses, okay? So the red, orders here are only executed and I'm going to show you live on Apple okay so I'm going to show you an actual live signal on Apple but this is the stop loss and profit target all based on the underlying stock so I'm using the stock pattern to dictate the option 
So that is to me what I find to be the better use of the process is to drill down and set these orders up. Okay, so find the stock that's breaking out, then deploy the option. Now, if this is new to you, do not worry. I've got entire classes around how to do this. Okay, I'm going to show you live with Apple in a, in a moment. So from that point, we have all the orders up. On August 30th, this automatically closed. So this is the closed ticket. Okay, so this is the end of the trade. On August 30th at 10.38, this trade automatically closed out. You see, this is the note of the exit. It said it sold the contract when gold marked at or below $14.91. It was automatically done based on the initial ticket I set up. So you don't have to be in front of your computer to get into the trade. You don't have to be in front of the computer to get out of the trade. Everything is set up up front. So I send out this these signals between 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So that gives you 12 hours plus to set that trade up. So while you're learning, if you wanna learn how to do this, right? Learn my method, I'm giving you signals that follow the strategy. So that trade is what generated this 66% profit, okay? Bought in at 73 cents, closed out at $1.21, all automatically. We had another signal early on in the month for new. This was a call, bought it at 50 cents, closed it at 98 cents. Okay, that's 96%. These are our open positions since then, right here. Okay, we track everything. This missed trade column are trades that did not meet the entry guidelines. Okay, so if I had a call, that means the price retraced the next day, it didn't break out. So anytime you see a missed trade, that means the trade did not come up and fulfill the breakout. So you have missed trades, you have closed trades, you have open trades, and you have new trades, right? That's how simple this is. So all of this comes out, all of these details are sent text message, they're sent via email, and then of course you have access to this very tracker with all of the details of the trade itself. So everything's fully transparent and delivered all up front. You set it once and you don't have to mess with it again. To me, and the feedback I get from all the traders I work with is the approach that allows for the least amount of subjectivity, the least amount of anxiety, because you're not sitting there watching P&L wondering when to pull the trigger to get out or to get into a trade. You're literally focused in on what is the breakout, you set it up, and that to me is the most hands-free method to get started. So this program, I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes. I'm gonna run through this because a lot of people are asking what the program is, what do I get, and how do I sign up? So from here, like I said, I'll go into the Apple trade and set it up so you can see it live. But a lot of people are asking, I wanna make sure that you understand how to sign up. So the program is the rapid profits method, okay? It's an email alert, SMS alert, and access to the cloud tracker. So this is the signal service side of this program. So Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays is when I go through and I send out trades. There's stock trades, there's option trades, long calls, long puts. Uh, when the time is right, there'll be covered calls that get sent out. There's training around all of this. There's training on, on how to set the trade up, how to set up the, the orders around all of this process. I know some of you haven't traded this way because it's a it's a unique way to leverage the order type sequencing. But remember, just in less than a month, we've got 160% closed positions, got 120% in open positions right now. Okay, so you're talking 280% in profit. So you had a thousand dollars a trade, that's $2,800, right? $2,000, right? $5,600, right? It's all about your average investment size. That's the done for you side of this. Now, for me, I know that for you to maximize results, 
you're going to need coaching. So twice a week, I'm going to give you a special bonus. I'm going to give you access to my Market Pro Live Club session. So the Market Pro Live Club is twice a week live. It's Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's Thursdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. They're all archived. They're all recorded. This is where I go into the market. I break down the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, the Russell 2000, the diamond. Then we go in and find sectors like finance, energy, utilities, uh, consumer staples, right? There's about 11 classified sectors. I go through those so we can find areas of opportunities. Then we'll go down and find individual trades. In these sessions, we go into uh, strategies. Uh, if you're not familiar with trading options, I'll give you live support on how to trade options. You know, questions of why this option versus that option. You know, this becomes your coaching uh, along this strategy. So you see me use the strategy, you ask questions. We've got an awesome room. Clients have been with me for days. Some clients have been with me for years. And the only agenda is the first half hour. After that, it's basically whatever the clients bring, whatever questions you bring is what we cover for that day. So that to me is one of those missing pieces that I want to ensure that you have access to coaching and to the method. So if you want to learn how to do what I do, you can come in as a free bonus on me. I'm going to give you access to that. Now, I also give you access to my empowerment toolbox. So there's about 10 and a half hours of pre-recorded lessons of how to use the momentum strategy that I showed you today. I'm going to give you that because to me, I'm all about transparency and once again, empowering you to achieve success. So while you're receiving signals, you're able to then deploy and see exactly why we went with this specific trade. And so that to me is the ultimate learning process. Now, a lot of you may or may not be familiar with options trading. So along with your purchase today, you're gonna have access to the Options Mastery Academy. So this breaks down about 40 strategies on options trading. Now, you don't need all 40 of them, but at times, you'll see the market conditions are right for a specific strategy. So we're gonna give you access to all of those. And then I'm also gonna give you, to me, one of the most important lessons is money management. How to scale, how to scale down, okay? How to exit and how to roll into a guaranteed profit method. Those are quintessential um, techniques and learnings that you need to have. So I'm gonna include that also as a special bonus. Now, everyone likes guarantees. I also provide one and it is a 30 day there's no strings attached guarantee on this if you're not satisfied satisfied for any reason let us know all i ask is that you do it within the first month because we give you so much value and we spend so much time with you at least let us know within 30 days and then if that's the case uh, then we'll give you 100 percent of your money back now for me i'd like to have a a psychological agreement with you don't don't buy this if you can't make the live sessions you know if you can't make at least two of these sessions in the next 30 days um, i'd rather you not buy it because ultimately you're not truly going to understand how to maximize the program so it's not in the guaranteed policy to show up to an event i encourage you to trade at least one trade with me and if you're not able to do that then once again it's not the right time for you okay so even though there's none of that in the fine print, it's literally just based on time, 30 days. I'd rather you at least commit to two sessions with me over the next 30 days. Okay, if you can do that, then more than happy to have you join our team. So this program, I've sold individually in this $8,000 price range. But one of the benefits of the online technology world is that I have a lot of clients. And so we're able to provide you very special pricing. Now, make sure you're seated for this. You're going to get everything that I just shared with you for just $299 for the entire year. So you're going to receive an entire year of signals, three times a week sent to you, full details as I've shown you, with the stock symbol, how long the entry is good for. If we're trading options, you're going to know if we're buying calls, buying puts. You're going to know when we get in, how to get out, how to protect your trade with stop losses. You're gonna have access to the emails, the text messages, as well as the trade tracker, the cloud trackers, right? So it's all online, accessible on your phone as well. And then you're gonna get all the bonuses as well for just $299 for the year. Now, for those that take action, I'm gonna make it even easier for you. So for the next hour, 
you can save $100 on the checkout page by using the coupon code MATT100. It's only good for the next hour. $2.99 is a phenomenal price for what you're receiving. It's even more phenomenal if you take advantage of it now within the next hour. So to sign up, just go to rapidprofitsmethod.com. Make sure you use the plural profits. We want more than one profit. Okay, so rapidprofitmethods.com. It'll redirect you to our checkout page. If you do it within the next hour, clock is starting. You can save another $100. The only reason that's possible, this pricing, is because of the masses. I work with hundreds and hundreds of traders every single day. We pass those savings on to you. I don't have, a, I don't have this huge army of salespeople that are going to hit the phones and, and call you every single day. Okay. And, and to me, I think what I've shared already just gives you a small glimpse to what I teach every single week with my traders. So give it an opportunity. It's the lowest price you're ever going to see. As long as you are subscribing with us, meaning you don't cancel, you don't lapse, you don't miss a payment, every year you can roll into the price that you started with. So if you take advantage of this within the next hour, you're going to be able to lock in $199 for the next several years, right? As long as you stay active. Even if you miss out, $299 is a small price to pay to invest in yourself, to follow the signals I send. But at the same time, to me, what's more important is empowering you to see the market through the momentum breakout method. If you've learned anything in the last hour, imagine what the next 12 months can bring to you. That's an opportunity that is prime for this condition because as we start to roll out and get into recovery mode, this is the best opportunity, right? Is the initial breakout. So regardless if we're green days or red days, you're gonna have an ability to understand how to maximize profits, no matter if it's buying calls, buying puts, if it's buying stocks outright, and then leveraging that asset into the future with different covered call options. We have the time, I provide the resources to understand exactly how to manage these positions with you. So at any point there's a change or an update, I send them out via email, text message, update the tracker for you. Got a detailed notes section there. If you come to class, you're going to know exactly what's happening. If you can't make it live, once again, they're Mondays at 7 Eastern, Thursdays at 12 Eastern. If you can't make it live, we've got a huge archive library of prior sessions. I mean, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of hours of content. Now, they're not just market analysis. They're not only good for that moment. There are teachings that occur based on the market conditions that are there. And so that becomes this ever-evolving transition and educational process because today's condition is not going to be the same condition six months from now. In fact, what we see today won't be important to us two weeks from now. And so that's why really driving a method, a repeatable method, at the same time having some fun and following along with some of my cherry pick signals is the process that we run through. So remember, this coupon code is MATT100, M-A-T-T-100. So when you take a look at the signals, remember, this is the full detailed look of the signals. You get text message alerts, you get the email full detailed lineup, you also get screenshots of the actual order tickets, all up front. So you set them up one time. So you can go through this and follow the signals, and that's it. You can come in and learn how to do it, or you can do both. You know, I understand how time is. That's why all these signals are done at night. So if you have a full-time job and that's what's been holding you back from some of the strategies you've tried to use, this overcomes that because all it takes is about 15 minutes or less, once you understand how to set the trade up, to set them up, get them ready for the next day. You don't have to be in front of your computer to get into the trade, right? It's already sitting there waiting to catch the breakout. So I'll tell you, the trade's good for a day, the trade's good for a week. You'll know all of that up front. To me, I prefer you do both roads, right? You learn and you take signals. So the more knowledgeable you are on the signals and why they're there, you'll be amazed at how more confident you look at the market. I send you my one, two, sometimes three top picks. But some days there could be 10 or 20. 
right? It just depends upon what is happening in the marketplace. So understanding what to expect next is the most important thing. So your bonus is quick start options training, right? So we're gonna make sure you understand how to read option chains, you know, what all the different Greeks mean, what the order types mean, why we use certain deltas, why we pick certain expiration months, right? You're gonna be able to learn all that in our options training guide. You're gonna learn how to set up your trades on autopilot. This is to me one of the most phenomenal ways to set trades up. You'll use this, I guarantee you, once you see how this is done, you'll use this across all of your trading, all right? It's a very simplistic and powerful way to use your order types in your specific brokerage accounts. You're gonna have access to all of my traders checklists. I showed you one today. You're gonna have access to all the ones I use. These are the four main ones I use. Okay, so you'll be able to see exactly how to set these trades up. You're gonna have access to money management lessons so you know when to scale in, how to scale out. Okay, all the different methods that I teach about how to manage money. That is one of the most underutilized pieces of the puzzle. Now, this program is in the empowerment toolbox okay this is my momentum breakout trading course it's ten and a half hours i've sold this program for fifteen hundred dollars up to two thousand dollars by itself ten hours of how to use trend how to use momentum how to set up your trading views as i had them set up how to time entries how to set those up how to pick profit targets stop losses how to select the best option chain it's about ten and a half hours of content here i'm giving this away to further empower you, all for the one price of $2.99. And for those that act fast, right, in the next hour, you can save another $100 off that. So ultimately, this to me is my the most favorite part. This is the live training bonus. This is the Market Pro Live session here. This is me, your coach, Sundays, or excuse me, Mondays at seven and Thursdays at 12. Okay, so live analysis, live Q&A, uh, areas of opportunity, different sectors to watch, signals to take. We'll call trades here that are outside of the signal program just because of the opportunities that we go through the different lessons, all live, all archived. To me, that's the, the most fun I have is I get to work with all traders from all walks of life and really get to focus in on the most important piece of trading, which is putting it to action, right? Being in a position where we focus in on what's happening right now because you go back two months ago, three months ago, and watch some of those lessons, you'll be amazed at how well we call the greater overall market. And so remember, all you have to do is go to rapidprofitsmethod.com, sign up using the coupon code, MAT100, and you'll be able to take advantage of this for just $199 for the entire year. So you can see it's a lot, and I've been in the industry a long time. And remember, the only reason we're able to offer this is because once you sign up, you achieve the success you're looking for you tell your friends and family and i and i highly recommend you tell your friends and family about us because that's how we're able to keep the pricing low right because of the opportunity to work with hundreds and hundreds of traders every single month so if there's any questions feel free to type me in i'll answer them for you but this is something that many of you have seen advertised you'll see similar types of programs or the types of offerings $1,500 to $3,000, I, I get it. And through all my experience throughout the years, I know that we can get it done without a huge upfront cost. And so we're able to pass those on to you. So at this point, type in a me, M-E, if you're taking advantage of this offer. You've got an hour to save $100 off the price. So type in a me, I'd love to see just to make sure that I can personally welcome you and remember you when we have our class on Thursday at 12. So you're gonna be set up automatically. You'll have your invoice uh, receipt, you'll have your welcome to the Rapid Profits Method um, email. So all the details of how to get to the membership site. Today is Tuesday, so you'll get your very first signal tonight. Okay, so you're not gonna have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks uh, to get started. You'll have your first signal here this evening. So what I recommend you do is when you log into the membership area, go first to setting up the trade. So watch the lessons on how to set the trade up because you'll be receiving them today. All right, perfect. So it looks like we've got lots of you signing up, which is great. Okay, perfect. So appreciate it, Pamela. Got you, Charles. Appreciate that. Yep. No, this is a one-time charge. This is There's no hidden fees. There's nothing of the sort. 
on the checkout page, you do have some bet bonus offers if you want to add on to your enrollment today. So there's something called the Options Profit Generator. So the Options Profit Generator is a options only signal service and that's done daily. So that's every single day we're looking for trading opportunities. That's not a trade a day, that means we're evaluating and if there's our opportunities, we send them out every day. So that program is usually $400 a year, uh, but there is a special offer you can add on to a month to month, but you know that is up to you if you wanna add that on. Uh, that just means more signals, right? It's just totally up to you if you wanna add that on now. You can do it later, but this is special pricing when you do it up front. So good question on charting service. So we primarily use TradingView, but remember the indicators I use are not proprietary. So I've got many traders that use Thinkorswim, for example, and they just input the settings as I have them and you can run the entire program on your Thinkorswim charting. So you don't have to switch to TradingView by any means. Whatever charting software you're comfortable with, stick with it. You can, every charting software has moving averages. Every charting software has volume and many of them have ways to filter and create your, your screen. So you don't need to switch if you don't need to. Uh, I got a question, is the option service like the cash attractor? Now the cash attractor is once a week. So that's a weekly program for stocks only. The options profit generator is options, calls and puts. So that's a daily signal service. So that's every single day. All right, looks like we got several people. Okay, good. So good questions. Looks like, yep. <laughs> Glad I was sitting down. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, Daniel. Looks like you had a lot of fun with us. Yep, perfect, John. Yeah. All right. So with that, I wanted to get this out there. A lot of you were, you know, asking those questions. Yeah, you can go back and and add if you want later down the road too. That's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. All right, so I'm going to talk about Apple here in a second. And for those that are signing up, I'm excited to have you. We've got our class on Thursday. Um, this is the first launch of this program. It's been about 30 days or so, and it's gone quite well. A lot of people are just excited as you getting started. So definitely looking forward to a, a new um, group uh, to introduce to this program. So remember, tonight's going to be the first round of signals you'll get. If there's any questions, we've got our support team here. Uh, but the easiest way to do it is to jump into the membership site and watch how to set the trade up. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you now an Apple trade because Apple's prime for a setup. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. It showed up in the screener. That's some of the same methods that I'm gonna teach you so you can actually see it. Yeah, you can do it for Charles Schwab too. So Charles Schwab, Fidelity, um, of course, TD Ameritrade. Uh, Tastyworks has the same ability to do what we do. Um, Interactive brokers for those outside the US also has the same method I've got. And so here's the benefit of using, you know, I've got hundreds and hundreds of, of clients is that when we're in these live sessions, if there's any question that I don't know about a broker, I guarantee five or 10 people in that room have the answer because they use it, right? So we'll always be able to find a way as a team. And that's the type of camaraderie that we have in the room because we all have same goals. I'm an active trader too, right? So we have all the same goals same type of mindset. And so everyone helps each other, which is fantastic and phenomenal um, as a group. All right, perfect. So like I said, that's this special offer. Obviously you can sign up at any time for 299. I figure if you can save some money, it's gonna reward those action oriented people. And, what, and that's what trading is about, is being able to take action. So this ROI, for those that started on the first session with us on the 15th, have already made their money back. There's no way they couldn't have. Uh, based on the results. So it doesn't take months and months to try to make your money out of this. That's like, I, I want to decrease your overhead, right? So that's why we have such special pricing and it's due to all of our clients that keep staying with us for the last several years, right? So do appreciate that opportunity for you. I'm glad we have that chance to, to pass on those, those savings to you. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to show you a live setup with Apple, okay? So Remember, Apple showed up using our filters and our stock screener. Now, I'm going to teach you how to set these up in class. So don't worry about that. But see how Apple's here? It's in our aggressive bearish breakout pattern. Okay, so what we do at this point is we deploy our trader's checklist. Now, I obviously know it by heart because it's mine. <laughs> uh, but when you start with us, you'll be able to see the checklist on how it all rolls out. 
So what we're going to do is because we have this breakout, this bearish breakout here, okay, broke below it, we're going to now set up the trade. So I'm going to set up an option on this because Apple has you know plenty of options uh, to choose from. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the low. Okay, so I'm going to find the low and I'm going to go one tick below the low. And I'm going to set that as our entry order. Now, this is a pending order. It's going to set up tonight and it'll be ready for tomorrow. I'm going to do a stop loss. I'm going to take the last high we had, which is here. And like I said, this is all taught in the empowerment toolbox bonus that you have. So if you want to learn this method, you'll see me run this method in our class. So it's definitely not something to worry about memorizing today. So from this point, I've got a stop. I've got my entry. Now I'm going to go find a low to target. So at this point, I'm going to use this low, and that is a defined low, two bars to the left higher, two bars to the right higher. So we're going to use that as our exit of our option trade. So now that I've got the stock pattern layout, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy the actual signal and the trade. And to do that, I need to go pull up our tracking account. This is Thinkorswim. And I'm going to now go in and pull up the option chains for Apple, especially if I spell it right. All right, so we're going to be buying a put because we've got a directional bearish breakout. So at this point, I want to be 45 days to 90 days out. I also want to be, and this is all covered in the checklist. You don't have to memorize all this. But I want to be at a minimum over 30 days. 45 days is best, but I also want to make sure the money makes sense. So at this point, we have a target. We have a pending entry at 153.36. So we're going to go with, on the put side, which is the right-hand side here, we're going to go right at the money, which is a 50 delta. So we're going to go and buy it and set up a put on the 155 strike October 21st expiration. All right, so this is the option. And some of the rules here, right, is we want 100 or more open interest. We've got 70,000, so plenty of open interest, okay? That's liquidity, I'll teach you about that. And at this stage, I'm gonna click the ask, okay? I'm gonna right click on the ask. We're at the 155 strike. This is buying a put. I'm gonna select the OCO bracket. This pulls up the order window. You can see there's three orders here, okay? So we have on the right, I'm gonna go 10 contracts. I have in green are my open orders, in red is closing orders. Now, at this point, I'm going to set my option with no limit. I'm going to buy the option at the market. Okay. Only, this is the contingent order type, only if Apple marks at or below our entry price. Remember, our 153.36. Yeah, Pamela, I don't know about the su suspicious site. Maybe your settings are high. I'm not quite sure, but I'll have my tech team here reach out to you. Maybe they can get you a different one of our links for you there. All right, so you see this entry. Remember, we're trying to catch the breakout. So I want this price to go down tomorrow. If this price goes up tomorrow, I don't want to be in it yet. Okay, I'm only trying to catch this breakout. So it's got to go down. So that's why when I use this method here, I'm telling my broker to only buy the option if Apple marks less than or equal to 153.36. So it's only going to buy this put if that happens. Okay. If it doesn't happen, it'll cancel. It's only good for the day. This is only good for tomorrow. I'm on a daily chart. I want to catch tomorrow's breakout. So once I have the entry, I'll show you the whole ticket in a second. Now I'm going to set my profit target. 
So my profit targets, my two red orders, my selling orders, right? Because I'm going to buy to get out. I've got to sell. Okay. So those are going to be good till close because I want to leave them open until they get triggered, right? So one cancels the other, meaning if the profit target gets hit, stop loss gets canceled. If stop loss gets hit, profit target gets canceled automatically. So my profit target is 142.13. Okay. So I'm just pulling off of the charts. Okay. So now I've got a market order. This will close this trade if Apple marks less than or equal to the profit target of 142.13. So now I've got to set my stop loss. Now my stop loss, so it's going to be above, right? Because I'm trying to put a stop on a put means it's going to be above the current price. So my stop loss is 16427. So once I set this, you'll see the window and it says, I'm going to buy 10 contracts of Apple, the 21st October expiration, 155 strike. It's a put. Only, this is the condition, only if Apple marks at or below 15336. If this happens and triggers tomorrow, it's only good for tomorrow, right? then these two red orders go live. In the meantime, this will show working, a working order. So I'm setting up at night, market's closed, 6.07. Okay, so it's closed market. At this point, I hit send. And now I've got a working order here. This order just placed is waiting on the condition. So it's literally set it one time if it goes live i've got my two exits in place and i'm done so i was talking out loud so it took me a few minutes right typically it can take me you know probably a minute or less but starting off your goal is doing 15 minutes or less and that will take a few trades just to set up um, i recommend you practice it every broker has a demo account so i would definitely practice setting them up first but that is how we take us take the program okay we leveraged the screener found the trade met the details initial breakout opportunity here volume break that gave us the stock from there i had the direction i went down into the option chain found the appropriate option chain obviously we'll teach you how to do that if it's a signal we send out obviously you would just follow the instructions of the signal but that is putting everything in a bow. That's what the final look feels like. That's what it looks like when you're actually setting up the trade itself. That's from me in front of my computer setting it up. So for you all, you'll be receiving the full detailed signal. They look like this. This is another, I just want to show you another example. This is what the email looks like. This is for Apache Southwest. Okay, see all the details of the trade. Here's your entry price. See it better here. Right, so here's your exact order pricing. All right, so that's what you're going to receive. This is what each signal looks like when you receive them. So once you learn how to place it, right, and all we have archived videos already for you in the membership site. That's how we put it all together. Okay, so taking that, putting it to your account, that's following the rapid profits method. What I showed you on Apple is literally applying what I teach you to find trades across the board whenever you want to trade you'll have a method to go find it but that is the process that we're going to run so this class today is just the start now like i said thursday's our next class at 12 i have another one on monday and we repeat the cycle over and over again so you'll always be able to come in ask your questions i get all sorts of questions and that's why i say the only agenda is really the first half hour of each market pro live session because depending upon the condition of the market, I'll have a specific topic I want to address. I want to teach a certain method. Could be how to buy double bottoms, how to buy double tops. You know, we'll trade different strategies for high flags, uh, triangle patterns, how to manage those, right? I mean, there's so much that we teach and talk about, but the base foundation is all about the momentum strategy I share with you. That's the base for every program, every method of trading I do all starts with the same method, which is shown here with this setup. From there, how we use this setup is what we teach, and it's all based on the market conditions. I mean, that's why it's an ongoing process because it always changes. So, 
All right. So at this point, it looks like uh, hopefully that was helpful. But that's how you circle the entire thing and wrap it in a bow. Is come to the point of placing the trade. But I know Apple was a was one of the uh, suggestions from from you all in the in the checklist. This trader picks, uh, but it also showed up in our filter. All right, showed up on our list to look at, and there's 183. <laughs> right, so there's a lot of bearish breakout opportunities based on today's uh, price action. So I hope that was helpful. I know a lot of you remember at this point. I'll wrap up with this. Make sure you know where to go. You still have some time left. Look, you have 30 days. Don't you know if you're you know 80% of the way there, you might as well save 100. I'll 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 make up the 20% difference in the first class. Okay, so if you're halfway there, I promise you I'll make up the other half in class. Remember, I recommend you sign up, but only if you can at least give me two live sessions. If you can show up to two sessions in the first 30 days, uh, you'll be hooked. You'll love it. You'll, it'll make sense. If you can't do that, then maybe the timing's wrong. Okay, it's just, I just know for you to really maximize the signals I give you, it's best to know the why, the method behind it. And if you can't watch them live, watch them recorded. Okay, so if you can at least watch some of the recordings, that'll really be helpful for you. Um, but at this point, it looks like we've got we've got some questions coming in. I've got my um, I got a question from Michael coming in. You don't need to have another account. You know, if you like trading, if you like Thinkorswim, then you know, if they're available where you're at, then go for it. But ultimately, the order types I showed you are not proprietary to Thinkorswim. It's not a proprietary method of setting the trades up the way I showed you. It's just gonna look different, okay? So they may have a different button, they may have a different uh, uh, UI, you know, it may look different, but ultimately it's not proprietary. It's not, a, it's not a method, a secret method. The options profit generator is a daily option signal service. It's low cost options. So it is a daily analysis. So I run the market every day, run filters and screeners every day, and if there's signals that are present themselves, I send them out every day, right? So the rapid profit method, because they're dynamic, they're only three times a week. So it's Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, but there's more signals because we trade stocks and options. Um, so it's almost the same number, but it's just not as frequent. But they're low cost specific on options profit generator. So they're $5 or less. The average is about $250, $250 a contract in rapid profit in the uh, options profit generator but there's no you there's 100 percent unique signals so you're not going to get you know the same signal twice yeah so we have text message alerts they're available internationally um, for text messages too as you saw i don't know if you noticed in the email there's an opt-in on the email it says click here if you want sms so about 90 percent of our traders opt in for sms so that's definitely a viable way to receive signals. So you get text message, email, and then you'll have the tracker with all the details in it. Yeah, full membership site. Yeah, so the, you know, good question, Daniel says, can, these, can you do these trades with a smaller account? Yeah, so the difference is just the number of contracts you're gonna trade. You know, just for example, that Apple trade is $600 a contract. Some of the signals I've sent out are 60 cents, right? So, you know, the the some of the criteria i look for are high volatility option contracts so they move and they're typically lower priced and they have a lot of volatility behind them so i would say with a smaller account eight out of ten trades will fit your equity management you know there's a couple of trades that may not fit but you know the majority is i mean the majority are going to be five dollars or less contracts I don't really get up into $1,000 or $2,000, rarely at all. All right, Pam, I see you're working with Kim. So Kim's one of our um, all-star support specialist. So I know she's working with you. So you guys could talk them back and forth. So that's great. All right, perfect. So I've got to run. Um, but at this point, remember the signals will go out between seven o'clock and nine o'clock Eastern time. So you'll receive an email 
on that first email, you can opt into the text message if you like. You have to opt in, I can't automatically opt you in for that. Uh, but you'll see the message, you'll get the email, and then underneath the email, it'll say, do you want SMS? Then you know, click this link, click the link, put in your phone number, put in your email, then you'll be able to sign up for SMS. Okay, but they go out Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then Sundays. So Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays is the sequence. If there is something that just jumps out and I have to get it out to you, you can get trades on Mondays and Wednesdays too. Okay, so that's the minimum we'll do, but you know, I've sent out trades almost every day. <laughs> so, you know, it's just depending upon what's happening in the market, right? We're not just gonna trade for the sake of trading, we're gonna follow the rules and repeat the rules, right? That's the the patience method. Yeah, we have yeah, we have scans that work in thinkorswim, so we'll help you set that all up. Yeah, Pamela, I see your note. We'll make sure you get uh it looks like you bought twice. Yeah, we'll get you refunded. So don't worry about that. We'll take good care of you. All right, perfect. So with that, I do have to run. Uh, I think we still have another 20 minutes or so. So to save the hundred dollars, and remember Matt 100 is the code. I do appreciate it. I hope you know for those that aren't ready yet, you know I do appreciate that too. Um, I hope you learned a few things you can apply and try out. If you can follow along with Apple, let's go Apple. Uh, if not, that's okay too. You can just watch what happens too. So with that, I do appreciate you all. I'll see you live on Thursday at 12 for those that signed up in our Market Pro Live session. We'll handle the registration for you, so don't worry about that. You'll be automatically registered. And uh, it'll be the same as today. You click a link and then uh, you'll be put into the room. So I'll see you live Thursday. I'll give you a nice warm welcome. I'll walk you through some of the basics uh, for those newcomers. And that way you can get quickly acclimated to the flow of our class and then we'll be hitting the ground running. So make sure you go through the membership area, especially the uh, how to set up your trades lessons. And uh, that way you can start taking advantage of these opportunities with us. So I appreciate you all. Happy trading to you. And we will get you all set up. Yeah, it's $1.99 per year. Yep. If you sign up with it before that clock runs out, you'll save $100, which makes this $1.99 per year. As long as you're active, it'll be $1.99 per year. You just keep rolling it over. Um, so great last question. I will see you all on Thursday. Thank you all.